Well, hello everyone, and let's look at about maybe just under 10 minute video looking at Enterprise 12 and kind of a mishmash of all the new stuff in, in Enterprise 12. And I'll try to do it by workflow as best I can. You're just looking at my inventory center, right? So I have, it's nice, the difference between the inventory center between Premier and Enterprise is the fact that you can assign an image or have an image to the item. So while you're scrolling through the list, you know, of a bunch of SKUs, you can actually see the picture, make sure it's the right one. And I really like that piece. Uh, for example, the mouse, I can do that. And, you know, if it's wrong, you can click change and choose the actual mouse there and then click done. Well, that's kind of funny. But the other stuff, uh, let's look at the preferences just to kind of turn it on. And, and the inventory center does behave like the other centers. Okay, so I'll be right clicking from it just like you would from a customer or vendor center and going on transactions with the item. But notice this item's an inventory preference really has uh, gotten a little more sophisticated, right? really full. It needs to be like half the little window there in the right. I have turned on enhanced inventory receiving. Uh, I can't turn it off. I made a backup. This is a major change. The item receipt and the bill are separate transactions. We'll be looking at that. The automatic cost and price updates, is, I've just set how I want my warnings to be, and I want it to be the markup to be percent over cost instead of amount over cost. And I'll show you at the item level where you can edit the markup and then what the pop-up looks like when you change the cost on a receiving document. And then the advanced inventory, assuming you've paid $699 or you're using your enterprise account in addition, you get with a ProAdvisor membership, so you can consult with your clients. We're giving you the AI free. But for your customers that want either multi-inventory sites, or lot serial numbers, which is new for this year, or FIFO, which is new for this year. They would pay the $6.99 on top of whatever they paid for Enterprise. And it's worth noting that serial or lot, you can't do both at the same time, so you can choose one or the other. And you can choose, you know, do you want to show serial numbers on which of the following uh, posting transactions? So there I have it. Assuming that's turned on, now we're ready to go. And I'm going to use the QB Premier item for things. Just wanted to show you first the enhanced inventory receiving. Then I'll show some of the other miscellaneous stuff as we walk through it. So I first created a purchase order today for 25, you know, CDs of QuickBooks Premier. And notice that I chose the, for the ship to, I chose the hub as opposed to Dallas. So I wanted to start at my hub warehouse in McKinney. Then, I entered an item receipt, so the items came in and I received them against the purchase order. Notice, the item receipt looks very different, a lot simpler than it used to be because it's not the bill. Not, they're not the same document. I don't have a recalculate tab at the bottom left. I don't have an expenses tab next to items. I have the ability to enter a bill against it. Notice, <coughs> the site came over as the hub, which I can change on the fly, but because I chose it in the ship to address, it came over as the hub, and because I chose a site, then I had the opportunity to enter my serial numbers. And I had about 25 items, you have to do serial number per each, so I just copied it from Excel, but you could just type them in this way if you want, and there are other ways to get the serial numbers in there, and I'll explain that as we go along. But notice the item receipt, what does that do? I'm going to do Control Jason to Mactor, brings up, Control Y, brings up uh, the journal report. A credited inventory asset uh, uh, offset, uh, sorry, <laughs> inventory offset account, which is another current liability, and a debited inventory asset. Uh, asset. So this inventory offset, the other current liability, is the clearing account, if you will. The bill will do the opposite. Well, it'll credit AP and debit inventory offset, and we'll look at that. So that's what the item receipt did. Notice there's no cost or amount columns, right? The site is there because I chose to put the site column there, and I'm doing uh, multi-location inventory, and so is the serial number column there because I'm doing tracking serial numbers, and there's my quantity. Just it increased the inventory for a QuickBooks Premier. Then I entered a bill, and when I tabbed off of Hamby Distributors, it said, you know, <coughs> you have open purchase orders exist or item receipts. Do you want to enter them? And I chose to. You know, much like that, you know, typical pop-up you get. And then, of course, it, uh, it, I received 25 in already. It's grayed out. But here's the quantity times the cost and amount. So here's where the cost and amount is actually affected. And if I do Control-Y again, there have you know, credited AP and debited that clearing account, inventory offset account, which is another current liability. So the bill and the item receipt are totally different. And maybe that's how it always should have been. You'd have to decide with your clients for that. Now I'd like to go ahead and sell. I'm just going to use a sales receipt here. 
or you could do an invoice, whatever. I'm going to sell the items, and I'm going to use Paula here, and choose. And notice a new, another new thing for Enterprise is the ability to find and select items. So I can choose consulting and training or delivery. I can install, maybe I did some diagnostic service, and I added all of those. And then perhaps I'm having a hard time because I have 5,000 SKUs finding QuickBooks Premier. So I can go to find and I can just do QB and even do a search. It's going to find Premier there and I can add that selected item as well. Now this one, notice, uh, I do need to add a serial number, but wait a minute, serial number's grayed out. What's going on? It's because I have to actually choose what site it's going from, selling it from. So I'm going to choose from the hub and then I can quick autofill from the inventory or I can do a quick view of serial numbers that I might have for Premiere, or autofill from the existing memory. And in this case, it's just uh, the uh, already, this was the oldest serial number I have for QuickBooks Premiere, so that's what it pulled out. And then uh, here's the site. It only cares about the inventory parts and inventory assemblies. And I can go ahead and click Save and Close, and there I've sold it. Okay. Now let's talk about transferring. And under Inventory Activities, or I could right-click to do it, you can transfer inventory and you can even transfer serial numbers if that's involved. So if I go to the hub and I want to send a bunch of uh, like 10 premieres, again I can find select items here go, or just start quick typing as you guys know and look for you know QB premiere, there it is, and I can actually transfer uh, 10 to Dallas. Sorry about that. 10 to Dallas and then the serial number is important so I have to just autofill from existing memory. It's going to put all ten of them in there and even do some class tracking. Right, so I'm going to save that. And you'll also find the ability to transfer for serial numbers on the adjust quantity on hand. I could actually take uh, is the adjustment type the serial number. Notice most things are grayed out. I can choose the site. Okay. And I can make an adjustment or remove serial numbers if I want for that particular item. Do you want to recall? And you can choose the serial numbers that you would like to remove just by quick viewing or you can add multiple from there. QuickView actually allows you to add it, sorry, add, add multiple serial numbers and you can choose the ones you're going to recall and remove. Or maybe you're adding more serial numbers on the fly. You can even co copy paste right from Excel. Literally, just copy paste right down there and dump it in. So let's say I'm adding these. And I can go right into serial number here and repaste. And there it is. I'm adding 11 serial numbers for that product and save and close. So serial number will be there uh, and it'll also be there for um, on the assembly window as well if you're actually building assemblies. It's another inventory activity and you'll see serial number there depending on the items you choose uh, when you actually create uh, your actual assembled item. Right? So this might be computer entry and then you have to choose a serial number for the build product. You pull the serial numbers out of inventory and you choose an eventual serial number for the assembled product, the actual finished good. So you see the serial number throughout on that process. The last thing to look at would be uh, the FIFO item. Um, if we look at first in, first out, you see exactly, I think I did it on consignment here and sold. So I have two checks. This one is bought three for 500 bucks. On the 19th, on the 18th, I bought three for $400. So we should see a cost of $1,700 if I sell four, correct? So that would be three times uh, uh, 400 and then one times 500. Right. So uh, if I look at my invoice here that I created and then again do uh, control Y and look at cost of goods sold at $1,700. So it's doing cost Y. And, and so those are some of the major changes that you're going to find with an enterprise. Enhanced inventory receiving serial number or lot tracking, FIFO, inventory center, find and select, and finally the cost when you change a cost. And hopefully I have time to do this. Just quick uh, Cal Oil, continue writing check choose an item here and then change the cost, say it's $95 now, on the fly, here's the opportunity you have to update cost and price and buy a particular percentage that you can set up at the, enter, at the edit markup uh, window in the item record. You can choose your percentage and if you want percent over cost or amount over cost. So some great things with Enterprise Solutions 12.0. Uh, this helps with your profit margin, fast data entry, FIFO, serial lot number tracking, and everything like that. Hope that was helpful. Have a wonderful day.